Hello, everyone. So I'm trying to just see if I'm already online. I think I am. Hi. <laughs> okay. Amy. Hello. Good to see you. <laughs> Talking to you, not to see you, but <laughs> hopefully you can see me. <laughs> so just let me know if everything... Good morning. Okay, here is good evening. <laughs> Um, please let me know if the sound is good. Alabama, hello. Deborah, Pamela, hi. Arlene, Sherry, oh, awesome that I have here uh, you for it. Because I'm a little nervous, a little is, uh, is short to say. <laughs> Sounds good, awesome. Okay. So, I have to, just let me, I have to turn off this. Okay, so I can't, I don't hear me twice. And, okay, I think we are good to go. And so, Hello everyone again. I'm super, super happy to be here with you. Uh, as I said, a little bit nervous because it's the first time I'm streaming for YouTube. So hopefully this is going to be awesome and we are going to be creating. So I am super happy for that. Uh, thank you for being here. For those who don't know me, I am Francisca Nunes. Uh, it's like Francisca. <laughs> I'm from Portugal and I will be one of the teachers for Wanderlust 2023. Um, so I am super, super happy and it's the second time that I will be there as a teacher. So I'm super, super happy. Um, Hopefully you guys can uh, see all the lineup of teachers and all the good things that will be happening in Wanderlust on um, the link that I have on the description box below the video so you can uh, check it out and today um, where are you from just let me see Alabama and the sound is great okay mainly US right so for you guys, it's the, in the morning, Tennessee, uh, yeah, Maryland, okay, Montreal, Canada, Oklahoma. So it's really morning, uh, Holland, uh, Netherlands, Israel, so awesome. So all over the world here. So us, this is the, the amazing things of internet that can gather us. Michigan, so awesome. UK, Australia, amazing. <laughs> so, Australia is almost night, I believe, probably. So, for today, I thought on um, starting, um, starting now, with me creating, um, us creating um, a little warm up with mark making, like uh, sharing some ideas on how you can find your signature mark because you already warm up with Cassia and then we had an amazing live with Claudette about color. So color matches with mark making and you are good to go to create on your journals. So, oh, I'm still looking for your comments. So, yeah, you are global. <laughs> Indiana, Germany, Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania. So many uh, people. I'm super thrilled that you are here uh, with me, okay? So, as I'm, I was saying, that I thought on just 
I don't know, some of you might be already familiar with our journaling and mixed media, others of you probably not. So um, it's a good way. So we are going, as we are going, we are making this Wanderlust Life as um, a great event to uh, give you an idea of what it's going to be the amazing year of Wanderlust. So um, mark making is an absolutely a thing to our journaling into mixed media. Just let me put some here. So you can see my table, hopefully, yeah? Are you seeing my table? So probably it's not the, the best of the lights because we have been with lots of rain here and so the, the days are gray a little bit. So please let me know, are you seeing my table right now? Yes, okay, awesome, thank you. So first I wanted to just uh, give you an idea how, uh, thank you Amy, <laughs> um, about how important is uh, or how can marks on your work change and give character and strength to your pages. Uh, for me marks are very important and, uh, uh, and I use marks to create depth, texture, because we can use marks in different papers and different kinds of papers. So when you combine them, you create different layers and different depth on your, on your pages. So for me, it's really, really important to play with marks. And normally I imagine uh, today is just, I, I just want to make some fun play uh, with paper, so I go for when some time playing on papers, just like we are going to make today. And then I have a big stash of papers that I can pull off and rip and collage and construct like a, a collage or um, some some um, the page of their day. Sometimes I can make even. Uh, I use those pages to create my journals, for example, in here, just let me show you some. I might use those pages where I did some marks to create um, some journals, and then I already have some marks there. And then from here is really more easy to start um, a page. So what are marks? Uh, marks are, as the name says, marks on the paper. Um, and you can, you, you can make them very precise. Just let me grab here some that I just made for us to play in a minute. So we can just use our brushes and create um, precise marks on our papers. Or you can, we can go very loose and hopefully we did, uh, we can make that today, just starting more precise and then go with the flow and um, start getting more loose. And you get, um, you can go to more loose marks that are then able to help you to create and uh, create your pages. So I want to know from you, before I continue, if you are familiar with mark making, if you normally use and create, if you do mixed media and art journaling, for sure you make them. And the thing is, uh, for me, I, I started uh, with some more uh, structured marks and then I find myself uh, going to uh, to find uh, repeatedly creating my some marks that I already know that almost will appear on my works, and this is um, this is what I wanted to give you um, today is that 
your signature mark you will find or marks you will find by making lots of them uh, finding some sources sources of inspiration around you that you uh, will start to repeat uh, on your papers so I love mark making <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Zdenka. Uh, Georgia, yes. Okay, with basics marks. We can, marks can be just basics, but can be awesome. I have here some that I want to share. Um, then this is, these are pages that are already made. So it's where you can go. But, um, this one is more complex. I will just show you in a minute. So marks can be things like this. Uh, scribbles with um, random things. And I will just share with you in a minute. Splatters some uh, random scribbles that we put on the paper. And this is all with uh, black, but we can start with black, we can go with color, we can mix, mix colors and you get layers. I love to use, as you can see on this, I, I love to work with um, different thicknesses of the trace. And you create with this depth on your work. So one day I just... Um, would be playing on big papers and then I would just use them as collage on my for example this one is another paper the paper that is under our work and then you are scribbling just to try a pen or cleaning your brushes and oh, and then suddenly you have an amazing paper too full of marks to use and yeah you can go and then when you tear them apart they transform into other little pieces that we can use for example here is a little a stamp we can use lots of things i will share with you in a minute i love vellum also vellum are tracing paper or some transparency papers because you then can when you are creating your pages you will go even with more depth on your work because you can see the underneath layer so i love marks on these papers um okay with and one, just let me show you one here that I truly love. I don't know if you can see. You can go, evo go even further. For example, on this one here, I have more than all. This is a, a magazine, a regular magazine, that I had some layers uh, pulling from a jelly plate. And if you can see, I scratch here paper, uh, paint, sorry. So when we scratch, we can uh, reveal the under, the underneath layer. So it's really creating depth on the paper. And I love this technique. So I'm, I want to make reduce um, the half time some today. Uh, I love this. And here I have another one. Scratching and creating that. I don't know if the lights you can see here. It's really beautiful. I love it. And another one, just to close this, I want to give you another shot. Just look at this one. It's just beautiful. Okay. Just really loose and uh, absolutely random marks. So one day you create with just play around. And I want to give you another idea. Just probably I will put this one here. Just let me, okay. Let me just put this here as like this. So you can 
Uh, yep. Oh, sorry. Just I'm just trying to go with the tag. Just let me put this like this. Okay. So with this one, it was a day that I wanted to uh, just play around with marks. I had uh, my phones, some music, and then marks, marks, marks. You don't think of nothing. You just create. And suddenly, when I stop marking, I start to see some shapes of the, these jars, these vases for plants and some plates. And then, so now I have something. Just let me share with you here. And suddenly I start seeing, oh, it's like this, that I can rip this and start something from here. And this is a great way for you when you are to like lose what, what I'm going to start doing. You can just warm up like this and then the, the marks will guide you through what you are going to do next. Yeah, Danny is saying that I also love browning brown paper. Yes, I love to. And I have here brown paper because, yes, brown paper is one of my favorite all-time soap strikes to use. And I love to. So let's go and play. I think you already capture what I wanted to say. So let's me let's me take this off so we can start creating uh, before just let me uh, tell you some of the supplies because today I will try to make this uh, really um, more easy and uh, simple so um, you can see um, you can go further than uh, at your pace so I see baby paper that comes through the mail, yes. <laughs> yeah, pa paint on magazines, then it's always paper that we can uh, just use to uh, pull and make some marks and we are good to go. So let me go again to my art table. And uh, we'll, I want you please play with me. So, we will need some paper, okay? I selected, as I told you on the supplies list, I have some vellum, some brown paper, and I have here some old, old um, book, the pages okay some old on some okay and yeah and some uh, on other ones i already had some paint because i but we are going to make i will make ones with you because i didn't want to uh, have here the heat making some so much noise so um okay so yeah pretty a uh, paper is this and uh, you can grab one or two uh, colors that you like, white, black, and I, I choose a little bit of black with green, so I can have this more like forest color. It's, it seems like a black, but it has a little bit of green and blue. And I have here, and just let me uh, share with you. It's really uh, more with a little water, so I water it this a little bit, not too much. And then I have um, the white, a little bit watery too. And if we need, if we need more water, I will add that too. And then you can select another color. I have here walnut ink that I normal I love to use, but you can use coffee, um, or I have here a very diluted uh, black. Yeah, 
the colors are the colors that you love to use generally yes I also use get that for that. <laughs> so and for paper is this and then of course you can do marks with everything that makes a mark on the paper you can use corrugated cardboard um, plastic bubble plastic other um, cardboard that have um, texture um, today I want to give you uh, some I want to play a little bit with more natural things I'm I love use natural finds nature uh, so stones so today we are going to play with a little bit stones some leaves because they they bring us a, a stamping uh, more I don't want a stamp from the leaf I want some marks of the leaf it's, it's a little bit different you know Which I, we are going to play a little bit with these and twigs I love twigs. I love um, go for nature and grab tools <laughs> that I find. So um, because they are diff with different thickness, so we can play on a different wide uh, thickness. So I like that, and I also like. Just let me show you to use. Um, so let me put here some mark making tools uh, these are I don't know what it is I think it's for molding but I found these on a flea market and I loved and these are good to scratch and put paint, or paint around I love so I am horrible uh, carrying my brushes so most of the times I end with my brushes like this Ugh. so I used to scratch and I love these the backs and the fronts are awesome and then I love to use um, we can use pencils markers to just have some marks to your paper I don't know if you can see so I use a lot of pencils I will sh we will do it in a minute and then the last thing so again you can use a lot of things okay um, of to make marks so we would be here an entire day uh, grabbing things all around the house that we could use as marks but I choose some to bring for you today and I also love to use soft pastels and sharp walls because we can just make some marks and then we can come with a brush and uh, smoosh the things and uh, blend all and create even more depth from our marks so let me show you I love playing with these all these different things okay um, so have you already have your supplies near you and let's go create a little bit okay First, let's I'm just let me put this aside. So otherwise, I have here lots of things running. And let's start to make some very um, the structured ones that I just like to. So, okay. I probably will pull together um, let me put this aside. okay so I have here a little white paper uh, it's a regular paper with gesso 
a vellum, a little bit of vellum, and I suggest you to add some gesso to, I'm going to have here this one, let me grab another old one page. Okay, I have here a white one. Okay. So for grabbing the the gesso, you just you just just oh, I, with a spatula because this is a a little thick. This gesso just go because when you uh, you will find that if you play with. Uh, paper with gesso, without gesso, with paint underneath, you'll create with the same mark different um, different papers. So it's good to play in different in these different ways because you will create when you are gathering those papers to create your pages. They will be awesome because you have different little bits of things to gather and play. So simple as that. So I already have some dry because otherwise it would be lots of noise here. Yes. And so right now with the let's start with some simple marks. We just go with a paper and I have here my black with green and then in here we also can play with the thickness of it's not thickness it's the I can't say the word in English right now but you understand me <laughs> the The lint, probably. I don't know if it is. Let me just okay. Example with a uh, a white br brush. I come here and I can just create a big one because with this I can just create on top uh, other marks. It will be great. So this is a good one. Just let me put it here. For example, now with um, with a twig, let's grab a twig. For example, this one. I just let's make uh, circles. And they with twigs or something uh, like this, you get very loose, and you don't have the this uh, all the the shape in here. And I love and just look at these ones, even made uh, double tracing. I just love. So you never know when you are making with. Are you creating at the same time? Hope you are. <laughs> yeah, Cre um, play with sizes, create big and little and similar. So it's really, I love to um, play with size. simple in here I will have another one for example this one here it's like like a, a, a snake um, 
I don't know how to say. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> this is so now go let's go more um wild and not thinking on the the shape that you are creating. Okay, just go. Go lose your your hand and then just go around. Go again and come to the paint. Just I love these ones because they really get organic shapes, very uncontrolled one. And then I love to combine those with the ones that I've structured more. So let's try because we could be we could come here again for some other um, marks in the same paper. Just let me put aside a little bit. For example, let's grab one. Uh, no, I will grab uh, the white before I go to the other one. And for example, I want to share with you um, how it could be, for example, with stones. I like to use those uh, these uh, nature elements because you it's uh, always unexpected the things that you can make with them. And they are never... Yes... Amy, that's it. You can do any, we can use anything to make marks and, um, for example, with a black. Just let, this is a, a black, very, very watery that I have here on my plate. Okay. You can see it here. And you get a plane, so satisfying. You put some music and then you are just like in a meditative play exploring marks and this I love that because I always find so beautiful marks and and really they are always unique because and even if you want to repeat it's difficult to repeat your own marks so how cool is this just love it mm. let me put this here and now I want to make on a brown paper. Just let me show you brown paper because it's one of my favorite uh, substrates to create. For example, uh, play with contrast and colors. So in brown paper it would be awesome to play with white. So let's go uh, use a little bit of white. And for example, let's go with um, the leaves. Again, with the leaves, when I'm just trying to make marks with the leaves, I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm not, um, I don't want to make a print of the leaves, okay, or create patterns of leaves. I don't want that. I just want some of the organic marks of the vine, for example, these vines here. So it's those things that I want to bring to the paper when I'm using uh, some leaves. So let's add some white here. Just let me. I always have with me some plastic because, yeah. Let's see. Then I go here and I do this. Again, as I, I did, I only add some parts of the leaf because I don't want a print of the leaf, but I want some parts of it. Let me add, for example, my blue 
my green here on this one. Again, we could now dry all these very well, and I could come here and uh, create, for example, because I have here a mark uh, that is big, I would play with little traces and uh, it would be a great element to add to another page. If we have time, I come back here and play with some traces. Now, I'm just Looking at the time, and the time runs really fast. And I wanted to, so I have here some paper that I've pre painted with my black green. And I wanted to just give you an idea of the scratching and some other uh, marks that we can just add um, to these papers. For ex um, I think I will not do one of these with you because it's just put paint on here and let it dry very well so we can move to another layer on here. And for this layer probably I will use this um, yellow brown, yellow ochre. And let me just clean my brush. So, I just put a second layer, imagine that I'm just... And the good is that you can just create on a big paper, on a short one, little pieces, or creating big without thinking too much on it's going to be good or not, because you already know that it's going to be to tear apart and to use on other projects. So. Now it's too shiny because of the lights. So let's just like this. And then I would come here with some, for example, I have here one and, for example, a stick, a twig. And just look how amazing it is. You're creating, you revealing the green that is underneath of this yellow. Another cool tip is use your non-dominant hand. I write with my left hand, so it's amazing to challenge you to create to marks, to create marks and mark making with your other hand because you know it's a totally different. Again, use different uh, shapes and uh, thicknesses because it gives pr uh, depth on your you know just look at with my left, right hand that I go everywhere I love this So you, this is a technique that I really love, making marks, revealing other parts. So I do love to create big and little and because, and at this time I'm not thinking because I know that this is not going to be here or in this work. So I just wanted this to be busy to me to to see later after it dries which part I wanted to use. I love this too. Again, 
Yeah, so many possibilities. This is really, you can go as simple as making marks on like this, like straight on the paper, or then going uh, in different uh, levels. For example, on this, let's create with a little bit of white here. Um, let me no, where is my no? Let me show you with pencils. This is um a soft pastel, a soft pastel brown pastel, and with a color on um, the background. I love to create some. Just you come here and you just drizzle. I don't know if the word is drizzle. Uh, probably is not. You just move around with your hand and your your pencil and you up and down you up and down and then you just probably you can't see i just you up and down you up and down you just are creating some marks on the paper let me show you This at at this point they seem with no value, but when you add this to another thing, and combine with different uh, marks and different colors, and you are getting uh, to another level of uh, depth and uh, composition. I would come here with different for example. I love doing these little, little, little things with my thing, with my hand. Then I create just and you have different marks here. We could do this same thing with, for example, white. Let's grab um a twig and the white okay and I will pick a big one when you pick uh, when you use a big one and you have your hand as far as possible at the at, at the, the end you will get more loosen if you if I work with my hand here I'm just creating a uh, one kind of things, one kind of marks, more controlled one. When I'm creating with these, like here, I can't control very much. So it's amazing to make because you can, you want to create marks, your signature marks, your the marks that uh, that are unique. See, I am so far that I can control very well the stick. If I was here, let me show you, with my hand just close to the end, I could create a cool ones, but different, because I'm just controlling more my my work yeah. so you have really lots of um, ways to explore let me put this one here okay I have here no more. No, the black. No, here a black one. Okay. Let's play with. Okay, I'm here. <laughs> Suddenly, this stopped a little bit. Okay, another tweak, and now let's go to make. Some uh, lines up and down. Okay. 
up and down. And again, because you are not using a brush, they are not well defined. And you, uh, I need to, <laughs> yeah, I use old books and it's a great source of paper and all the paper that I can put my hands on, just even the magazines, as you saw, when I don't like the colors because they are too bright or full of text or too shiny, I just cover it with paint and I'm good to go. Just look at this. Let me put it here. Okay. And with this one, I think it's already dried. Let me see if I can come here. For example, with this one that we did a could come here again and just for example with my charcoal I would just make some marks again the technique that I showed you just go and move your your um, hand and your fingers and just get very never mind of the shapes never mind of if it's it has sense, another neither of this it's to make sense right now. It's just to um, help you to create then a compositions that you love. And uh, how to find, as I told you, how to find your marks is making. <laughs> And, and then you are, for example, I love to do these organic marks that I see on nature, on the, the plants, on the silhouette. And you're starting to see the lines when you start creating even more and more and more. You're starting to see um, uh, the forms and the shapes that you are starting to uh get it more and more on your papers. Because then I want to share everything with you. Another one that I want to make with you, okay, is for example on this um, green one, I could come here with, again, let's use another twig. And I will use the white and just make some circles. Okay, again, because it's a twig, you are not going to be uh, controlling. Yeah, it's good to switch your hands because the brain is working when we are playing with the with the other hand too. So yeah, the good one because I want to give you another idea. So I need this dried. So I'm going to make a little noise, okay? Just a quick. going to make another thing so you can so we can accelerate this without just press okay I would uh, dry these with the heat gun but uh, so I don't make lots of noise I'm going to make this and then it's better for me to okay because I want to make 
to give you another idea. On these uh, contrastant uh, papers, the mark making, I love to create, I love to play, as I told you, with different thicknesses. I don't know if you can see here. I created the circles here with a brush and then with a pencil I come on top and create a line not a circular very perfect one on here I created with a brush underneath and then I with a pencil I create on top so um, it's it gives a really dynamic to your marks and will make the difference when you create your pages for example on here I could come and I could just uh, I'm going to use the white because otherwise you can see very well I could come here on this one and make marks on the top I could come here and I could just play around with the white on here and I want and here I would do the same for example with my green just probably you can see very well because of the lights I will show you here we go. And just again Losing a hand, don't control things. And for example, with the shark wall, I don't know if you can see. You can just, you are creating uh, different layers. And the black. Can you see? I don't know if the lights you can see the difference, but already uh, imagine this tear apart and add to a page. So um, I love that. Oops, let me let me see the time, please, Amy. Should I? Oh, okay. Um, just want to. So, and we could go further and further with this uh, and then use this to uh, create more compositions and I would be an entire day with you here. Just let me put this, uh, some of the papers that we created. And I hopefully, I hope that you join me and the team, all this team, on Wanderlust because um, on Wanderlust you go from the simple, the basics, and then you go further uh, to the techniques and you create your own voice on um, the way that you create. Um, you can just surely make a wide, wide variety of marks. So many things um, we can use to make marks but and i hope that you continue practicing and playing your signature mark is finding by making and looking for the things that you like uh, the shapes that you like in nature and making making them loosen not controlled another one here just i would love to have them all here so I have selected so much papers to play with you, but the time is really something that runs when we are good. Um, I did not use... Thanks so much for... Thank you all. Um, I would love to have you on Wanderlust so you can we can go in depth with much more techniques and um, the link 
so you can see everything that will happen on Wanderlust is on my descri the description box of this video and I think Amy can put on the chat I don't know and uh, just play you know it's really um, a way of mark making is a fun way to play even if we on that day we we didn't create nothing more I'm happy I'm just happy when I'm just creating marks because first I get happy <laughs> and then I have a stash full of paper great paper to move on for example here I'm working on layers you can start with marks on one layer and then you can go up and up creating more and more layers so um, I really hope that you liked I really hope that you uh, create please share with us your marks on Instagram or uh, on here on the classroom I would love to see your marks and I really really let me grab some just okay I really Um, would love to have you on Wanderlust uh, this next year. Um, it's now on sale because we are in this um, weekend live and it's the last uh, chance to get this on the lower price. So there you can see the lineup of teachers that you can find on Wanderlust. Uh, join me and the, all the teachers. So it's you are going to find uh, a year long of techniques and combine those techniques uh, to create your own way of working. So I will meet you to, um, again. I'll be with you again on Sunday for my two uh, more uh, one live and one video. So I am super thrilled and to see what's next and thank you for joining me and being here with me and i see you very very soon okay thank you so much everyone uh just let me check the comments um thank you all <laughs> yeah you subscribe okay thank you i appreciate thank you basma uh yeah it would be uh as you saw we could be here a very long time just making and creating even more techniques and marks, but it's so much fun and very meditative. Yes, that's it completely. Uh, thank you so much for being with me. Dorothy is already signed up for 2023. I know that so many of you already joined. If you didn't, just go ahead and join us because it's really worth it. Thank you so much, everyone. I'm going to say goodbye because in some minutes you have another live with another wonderful teacher for Wanderlust 2023. <laughs> so bye-bye from Portugal. Big kiss from Portugal. Let's be honest, the ongoing crises and unrest in the world are making us anxious and worried every day. Now, more than ever, we need to take time for our self-care and building our inner peace. And I know a perfect way to do that. A way that worked for me and for thousands of people all over the world. I'm talking about keeping an art journal, your visual diary through which you can express yourself, heal and learn. I am Kasia Avery and I will show you how to make your 2023 a year of positivity and creativity. Discover your new passion with me and find focus that will nurture and nourish your soul. Join me and 30 renowned teachers as we help you rediscover your inner artist and honor your creativity on our year-long course called Wanderlust.
you will learn about mixed media art journaling, the most joyful, free and kind of art with endless opportunities. We will teach you all about supplies and we will take you through the process of creating one small artwork every week. Following our weekly lessons can be your new favorite form of self-care. This is our eighth year of Wanderlust and every year we have inspired thousands of people all over the world to go on this journey of self-discovery through joyful and laid-back art. Don't believe me? Just check these Wanderlust stories just to see how much our adventurers enjoy this course and the kind of big transformations that the course brought into their lives. I don't know what 2023 will bring to this world, but I know you can take this one little step right now to ensure that you bring creativity and self-care to the table next year. And while all the prices are going up, we actually lowered the price of Wanderlust. And for the first time ever, we are introducing a payment plan just so more of you can enjoy and really honor your creativity in 2023. Become one of us today.